my friend. Hey, what are you looking so cool calling the collective for? Guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. Seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talking new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> the internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. If we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score, well, I... I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Agent Steve set up a base of operations at the noose building off the Palomino Freeway. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Shit, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, for sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get in the shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own heart, put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Poor me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay, okay, I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files. Chopper picks us up. All right, we're coming up. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be ready. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Waiting on you. This place is in the creeps, Holmes. Same with this fed pilot. Hey. All right, I need IT outside the FIB building. Ready for the cyber part of this. Up. Ah. I'll be on standby, boss. Hey, here we go, man. This is on. Haynes, this guy? You gonna take us to your chopper? You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump. I'm taking us up to jump altitude. Feels weird not having Trevor on the stick. Feels okay to me. He might be a better pilot, but I'm less inclined to kill you in your sleep. See, that ain't what he says. Okay, I'm less inclined to stab you in the face and then do funny things to your corpse. That sounds about right. Hey, everyone, quick pep talk. My friend Franklin here called me out for being an ungrateful prick on the way over here. I have to admit, I've been remiss. Everyone's being paid on this run except 
except me. But it ain't great money for the crazy target you're drawing on your back, and there's a good chance this thing won't work at all. I took the job. I knew it was gonna be like that. Hey, look down there. Lester wasn't kidding, homie. He tossed the joint. Yeah, it makes me think like he ain't got faith in his own crazy plan. So, in short, thank you for your efforts. It means a lot to me. I picked you guys out especially for this shit show. So take something from that if you will. There'll be more scores down the road, maybe a big one, in sunnier days ahead. But this is where we are right now. So let's try to survive it and achieve our objectives. We stick together, we might not die. That's what's getting me through this. All right. When you say jump, I'll jump. Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. It's locked. I'm setting a charge. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the. The alarm's been tripped. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connect it to the machine. Yeah, they better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. You're looking for the IP address, that number at the top, in the massive numbers in the middle. Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run BruteForce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. Okay, looks like we're in. Good work. Start down and out.exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Security team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we will prepare for this. Let's take it. It's underway! We'll need that chopper ASAP! 
Get her over the building! Airlift initiated. Find by the building. Room on the right! Look out! Back up! Yo! Watch the left side! He's on lift! The process ain't finished yet! I'll hold here. Wait on your signal for pickup. Hey, we're busy! Look up there! We know you ain't kosher! Up there, left side of the roof! Come on. MIB choppers, pick me up! Clear for takedown! Incoming! They got me! Trying to... Bring it... Under! You hiding, asshole! Don't worry, we got a backup plan. Use the harnesses. Repel from a few floors down. Ah, oh, shit, they smoking us out. Smoke bomb, be cool. Guys, you there? Yeah, go ahead. The heli crash caused a... extensive damage. The explosion went through a couple of floors. Sprinklers brought the fire under control, but be extremely careful. All right, got it. You down, now! They're coming at us! Give us a second! Download complete. Get the device. All right, man. Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Coming through! Where you going? Hey, clean this up. Let's go. Weapons free. Moving, moving. Move out the way, man. I got this door. Good body. Let's move. Hold on. I hear something in the stairwell. Opening. Here we go. This way! Hey, we got a problem up here. Sprinkler system. Can't see anything. Man, can I have to shut it off? I'm in the system. Okay. Shutting down fire suppression. Atta girl. Whatever we're paying you, you're wor worth it. Go cash your pension! Let's get out of here! He didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be a No, he didn't make it. Are you funny, huh, motherfucker? Now let's get the fuck out of here. No, we're too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Damn. Fuck! Oh! Come on, you asshole! Keep going! Public sector assholes! Come on. Oh, I tried my love. <coughs> hey, let's move! It's up. Back down, assholes! Let's go! Hey, that was some fire. You know, we're getting out of here! On me! Come on! Out of the way! Always moving! Come on! Come on! Following you! We're coming through! You guys make an honest killer like me sick! Let's go! Push, people!
We low enough? Yeah, this will do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit in the state is on the way. I don't know if you have the firepower to hold them off. ETA is any minute. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. To the right, man. Look, about every flashing light in the city. They don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. An air unit CD on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, crap! They got a bird! Take out that chopper! Alright, he's out! Fix the rope there! Then we can get down to the street! That's it! Gotta go! No shit, let's get cracking, man! Unless you're feeling at home in this fair building! Hey, you wanna side with Trevor? Feel free! Man, I was just fucking with you, dawg! Let's do this shit! Driver's meeting us out front, right? Run or get clapped! Damn, come on! Hey, get lost! We got what we came for! We ran our way! Man, I don't see the drive! Over here! Come on! Oh, it's the ambulance! Move! so they can't see us get in. Don't use your weapons. They gotta think we're a legit ambulance. We might be getting away with this. Okay, we lost him, Frank. We're meeting Lester at your place for a debrief. Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Whoa, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kids' college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey, good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi-sort of serious. But joking, once you reacted like that, all right? Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? I'll take care of it. Hey, come on in, man. Damn. Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Any longer and I was gonna torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking it! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? Well, I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. Shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self-loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else. I'd rather rob a federal building with me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <sighs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I got to deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as... We all are not together. There's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Then it's Trevor, and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. 
All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! Trust with firearm. You need a receipt for taxes? <laughs> no, no, no. Nice model, that gun. a weapon that'd part the Red Sea. I don't keep a record of purchases. Now you are prepared against government tyranny.
Ah, see? Davy, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, come whoa. on, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Some more of these guys kill each other. here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give me a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad, and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Run for that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you. Building on my left is crawling with them. Just kill each other already. trying to kill me. You're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. I'm holding position, but I don't know how long I can keep it up. I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. 
French. Look out! Look out. Of course! More mercenaries here. Very weather bird incoming. These guys don't have a funding problem. Chopper down! I'm waiting on you, Michael. Get down here. What happens to Haynes? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. Pick it up, Mikey! My gun's getting hot! doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. Any other divisions of government want to show up? They're done! I gotta get out before someone clocks my chopper. Hey! Thanks, T! This is our shot! I'm making a run for the parking lot! Get clear or we'll talk! The lot's this way! This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can! And do not contact me! Until you're absolutely sure you're clear! This one's mine. Good luck. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. Shit. Chopper. Another chopper! Shit! Well, that was fun. What 
are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, come on. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Literate the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know, how'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Daddy's back, bitches!
Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. The files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit! Then I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me? Up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. That's bullshit.
Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One. The front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in, and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot, and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Ah, uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. All right, my turn to move. All right, I'm at the spot. When the time comes, I'll do what I can from up here. We might stand a better chance if we come at them from two angles. All right, I'll take that on board. Let's do this. I'll take out whoever I can. Here I come, assholes. You got a friend of ours. It's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. Come on, guys. They're here in force. You gotta move. Crazy dude here, too. All right, Lamar, let's go. There's a bunch of more dudes coming now. 
If we go out this way, we'll have some cover from Michael's gun. You got another guy hiding up there? Hey, dog, come on, right. Cut your losses! Let us go! Don't think I owe you because you turned up in this shit. Nigga, I don't think shit. I'm doing this for my own peace of mind. More ballers. Let us go! Yo, bitch! Lucky we're not taking your pot, too! We ain't got time. Hey, you moving up in the world, homie! I ain't never seen this many motherfuckers wanna kill That's a fool that got a compliment, nigga, even from you! More niggas on the way! You're out of your element! Introduction, dog. All right, you too. Go, 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 go. T, call me, dog. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn to get horny on your office supply. Shit, homie, you all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money making opportunity. Or a get killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz end. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been, uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want... Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew. And she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? from like the other day, dawg, since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. 
But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? I, 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 but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the bowlers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch said, is you out there where they doing a custody? Yeah. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. Know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun. My nigga, don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit. Shit, shit, hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. <laughs> nigga. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a... Little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! Two weeks clean. And they have popped him in the suburbs. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davy. Again. So, what are you going to do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. 
I get that story right, and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. You look like a friend of mine I accidentally shot at a party. <laughs> what are the odds, huh? Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. Take your time. Get in the back, Pop. A limo, Jim. Really? Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer, too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E. N. T. Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look. Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. 
Oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up a little late. Uh, of course they will. Thanks, Antonio. Hey, Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim. Come on. Hold on. Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. The fuck are you doing? Ah, one of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, ah! Michael. He's in there with our girl. Mom! I'm dead. Getting out of ah! 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 It's gross. Help! Help! Baby, are you okay? Help! Are you all right, sweetie? Oh, 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 We're inside. Find them. Fuck them oh, up. Okay, okay. You just stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one! Please! No! Drag out! Not yet! Stay put! I don't like this, Michael! Neither do I! Just keep calm! You do not mess ah! with me! Cervantes is hit! Chase him up! Oh, yeah, I guess that's, that's it! Are you happy now?
think they're gone! I got you, you dick! Oh, uh, oh, it's all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> Get the fuck off me! I thought I was on that guy! So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. Uh, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Mr. DeSanto, good to see you. Struggling pain, struggling good. pain. Evil saints in my brain. Word. Whenever I try and leave, they give me another dance. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. 
Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough. And then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you... First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Well, he's... Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car is... They were at the jewelry store and the bureau, and we ain't dead yet. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Hey, I used him at the jewelry store, I used him at the bureau. I'll use them here. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. Come, 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 Mr. Sunline. Can't be no other way, fam. Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy!
What the fuck is wrong with you? Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right?
nice front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. There they are, the fucks. Who is that animal? You can have your idiot son. This is just get over here, Papa. Let me take you home. Thank you. Shit. Fuck, man. Do you, think, do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Because the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. You'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? Bob! Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn and I'm all like, damn son, that right there is one ugly ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right? E Fuck enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah. Good times, great times, the fucking fun you have. I'm kind of shaken up, Dad. Could you drive like a sane person? Hey, hey, careful! All right, the troll could come out of his cage. Screw you! sticky back here and smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. Close! 
You should get some help with that personality of yours. You know what? You should see a doctor for that shit. If it's nice tomorrow, I may go jogging. Gotta work on my body. Can't be all brains, right? Cannot wait. Well, I do have a television. No, honey, I just Man, I love the internet. I don't need more than that. Fantastic. Thanks. Cannot wait. 